You know everybody, Nostalgic Goggles 4-3 here. Just go ahead and get started. Hope you're all having a good night. I'm having a good night. A little rushed. But... Yeah, that's just the way things go these days. Tonight, we are visiting the Los Angeles Clippers. Let's do this. What's up? It's the greatest. So, going way back to the expansion draft, the Clippers are the team from which we acquired Tony Massenburg. So, much like the Kings with Lionel Simmons, what a mistake. Well, you know, can't win them all. As you can see, we're 43-1. and one. Could not win them all. We're going to compound that mistake give him back. He is on the trade block. He'll likely not be on our team much longer. We will give him one last hurrah tonight. Speaking of tonight, 10% of anything I make tonight goes to the Retina Foundation of the Southwest. I'm trying to cure blindness in the very old and the very young. Awesome work. Support them. Let's get this game started. Cheers. LA Memorial Sports Arena. Back in the days when the Lakers and Clippers played in separate arenas. All right. One star all around. What a game indeed. Should win by 100 and never take a three. It might, uh, might well happen. We will see how it goes. Lamont Murray, who is Tracy Murray's cousin, I believe. They are related. And Brian Williams. I think this was his last year as Brian Williams before he changed his name to Bison Daylight. And of course, shortly after retirement, he uh, died tragically. Sad story. How you doing tonight, Spitz the Greatest? Oh. Ugh. Well, hope you're doing better than that. Working on a resume. Good times. Full court press already, man. Well, good luck. I hope that you're uh, up search. Worst part is I have a pretty good resume ready to go that you've been using for a while. Why is that the worst part? That seems okay. Oh, discovered multiple typos. Yeah. That is discouraging. Every single time I edit a resume, I find some things wrong with it. They're not necessarily at the typo level, but at least things that aren't good, you know? My early career one had significant formatting issues even. It was just ugly. Man, why can we not throw a pass tonight? What is wrong? Crazy that Spellcheck didn't catch any of these. Oh, so they're that. It's not just like one word when you mean another. 
That's what you get for using InDesign. Yes, you do. Why, do you, why is your resume in InDesign? Ugh. Love InDesign because it makes formatting so much easier. Well, fair enough. So what do you like submit as a PDF? <laughs> it's a much more powerful tool, but it basically says, hey, you can't be stupid. Check your own spelling. Indeed. Push them out. Not quite sure what just happened there, other than that it was fairly embarrassing. Head back. Ugh. Oh! Ryan Williams. Easy there. It does occasionally catch spelling errors, but not reliably. Man. Come on, Adobe. Get your act together. Come on, Massenberg, get your act together. There we go. <laughs> this is why he's on the trading block. <laughs> oh, nope, nope, nope. Not this lineup. Let's try the next lineup. Anyway, they're following me more often because I'm not player locked on uh, outside shooters. I've been uh, driving to the basket more. <laughs> you think you just had a Mexico moment? <laughs> For uh, those of you who uh, are not regularly watching the stream, I did tell the story the other day. That's the greatest guy in our younger days. Uh, played through Tony Hawk 2, and he uh, got very upset uh, when we uh, got stuck on the Mexico stage for a while. Nearly jumped out of your seat. <laughs> it's okay, we'll get it back. Or we won't. Wouldn't that be something if we uh if we lost to the Clippers tonight? Tony is still just barely on track for 100 points this evening. <laughs> you lose, Tony's paying for his own ride home. Actually, he's not. That's right, I forgot. We had uh, Ruffin scored. Uh, not Ruffin, uh, Murdoch scored two of those. So he is actually not quite on pace for 100 points. Maybe we'll just leave him here. He did play for the Clippers. So in real life, not only was Massenburg a, an expansion draft selection from the Clippers to the Raptors, just like in the game, he was their number two pick after B.J. Armstrong. There you go, a little fun fact for you there. Oh, there we go. Ah. Oh. A darn isometric perspective. The ball hit him in the chest and he did nothing. Oh, you know. He's on fire, though.
Ooh. All right, we did that at least. And we're in the lead now, so that's something. There it is. No, he's not forgiven. So it's the greatest forgives not. <laughs> he tried to throw the ball through the backboard on a free throw. Well, in his defense, I was controlling that. Not very well. And he's only missed one shot. Other than those two free throws. Okay, that was nice. Credit where credit is due. Oh, Damon! We're not going to be able to beat him by 100 if they keep running out the shot clock. Considering that everyone is scoring 100 these days, we need to have Alice go off again. Well, I mean, everyone does need to score 100. That was a uh, patron-supported uh, decision. That's uh, been part of this run. I want to make sure all the guys who are leaving the team have their opportunity. That said, this is Tony's one shot. If he doesn't make it to 100, that's just too bad. He starts missing dunks again like the other day. It's like in DBZ when everyone, their brother starts going Super Saiyan, Saiyan. You then need to create Super Saiyan too. I don't actually uh, really know uh, DBZ all that well, to tell you the truth. I know. Secrets out. All these years. Basically everything I know about it, I know from you. Imagine supersonic. All right. Good job, Tony. It's like, hey. What's up, buddy? When's tails and knuckles go super, then supersonic isn't so special. I don't know. Still a lot of work to get there. That lineup did okay. Starting lineup, not so much. Got one more lineup prepared. Guys, um, played. This is another lineup we've never used before, ever. Might never use again. Uh, no, that's not actually accurate. So he said, never legitimately gotten all the Chaos Emeralds in a Sonic game. Don't think even you and I ever achieved in Sonic 2. We did one time. I actually have a very clear memory of that. Um, we could not get past the final special stage. We got the first seven uh, or six. I can't remember how many Emeralds there. We got all but one pretty easily. And then it was like the last possible star post in Metropolis Zone. We were able to get there. 
we failed like five times, then we we made it by like one ring. Something like that. It's one of the great gaming achievements of my life. Only to be bested by Tony Hawk 2 and then winning this NBA championship. It was one of those nice moments because we had the little crowd there too. So it was uh, pretty epic. The box! So much for not taking a three. Sorry about that. Get that back. Guys! <laughs> Maybe it wasn't like. What? Ugh. Um. So maybe I'm slightly misremembering. Maybe it was in, like, Act 1 in Metropolis Zone. We had, like, a little bit of time. I don't even know what's happening. This game has just devolved into chaos. What was the offensive foul? I think it was off ball. Um, Brent Berry on their side ran into somebody. And then they took him out of the game. So that's it, rookie. Your dad may shoot underhanded free throws really well. But you need to not run into people and you don't even have the ball. Oh. That wasn't good. Right, you mess with Tony Massenberg, you pay the price. Harry to hair. Day hair, it's been a while. Apologies if I'm mispronouncing his name. I guess one of those must have been. Still count draining the pool. Antonio 2 is one of the great accomplishments. It was stupid, but we did it. That is true. Oh, Philadelphia. So on that level, for those unaware, we had the hardest time figuring out what you needed to do to drain the pool. Um, in retrospect, it was pretty straightforward. You had to like skate over some lever looking thing that was near the pool. But we thought that you had to like grind all the way around it and we're trying like all this crazy stuff. We did actually manage to grind the entire circumference of that stupid pool. And this wasn't like a swimming pool. This was like picture like the Washington Monument reflecting pool. I mean, this thing was big. And so we worked for weeks, it felt like, maybe just hours, I don't know. Yeah, definitely days. I would agree. Not just any old days either. They were the halcyon days of our youth. And we drained that pool. Oh! That one goes out to Dr. Ambassador Dortmunder. Patron at our buy a bucket tier. Thank you, doctor. Like getting up to the top to drain the pool isn't easy. That's true. And you need to know it's there. Even once you know it's there, it's a little bit of a challenge. We most certainly did not. Look at that. First time I've scored in a while. Bassenberg's having a career night, to be sure. 
Yeah, I think you're right that we discovered the cable by accident. Oh, oh, poo. Poo Richardson, to be exact. I think even you have to admit Spitz the greatest. And Tony Massenberg's having a good night tonight. Push him out. Just destroying them on uh, defensive rebounds. Of course, we haven't given them any opportunities. It's 100 to bust is now well on pace. I think only four of those points are not his. Fair number of rebounds and blocks, too. This might be... I actually don't think we have recorded a triple-double yet this season. And I honestly feel like Massenberg's got a shot tonight. He keeps getting those blocks and those rebounds. <laughs> if he gets our only triple double, Spitz the Greatest may cry. There you go, folks. You don't want to see Spitz the Greatest cry, do you? Why? Because of that? <laughs> hey, you know what? It's another rebound. That actually got him closer. Our team's first triple double. Barry found his shot. If he gets a triple-double, how can we trade him? Yeah, well, it's, it's an excellent question. I mean, the poll is still open. You're always welcome to revise your opinions. There we go. Charles Outlaw, living up to his name. Only three rebounds? I guess we're a little farther off than I thought. 64 points, though. It does seem like you got more than three rebounds. But, as we've observed in the past, the uh, record keeping in this game is not as robust. I think the uh, isometric uh, perspective might mess up the scorer's table. That's our... Which Bulls player in 1995 was known around the league as a three-point threat? I think it was Nostalgia Goggles for three. Oh, a little early. I was going to thank my patrons, but I clicked the wrong thing, so we'll talk about the Retina Foundation of the Southwest next. 10% um, of any proceeds tonight go to them. Uh, they are doing a lot of great things in the vision research space, uh, trying to envision a world without goggles, a world I can get behind. Please support them. And speaking of support, huge thank you to Tim Troy, humanitarian and philanthropist, 
Spitz the greatest. Dr. Ambassador Dortmunder. Couldn't do it without you. Anyway, I know the answer to this. You're going to say Larry Bird, right? Scotty Pippen. Not so much a three-point threat. Um, it's actually former Chicago Bull, current Golden State Warriors head coach, Steve Kerr. Still the all-time career leader in three-point field goal percent. Even to this very day. Didn't know that. I thought you were going to say Larry Bird. Ugh. So close. A lot closer than this one's going to be. We're getting that triple double. <laughs> He's trash. He scored 64 points in the first half. Now I have to get him the triple double. position. It should have been a block. Need six more. He also shot like 80% from the field in the first half. There we go. You don't care. <laughs> Ugh. Look at those dunks. It's high flying dunks. It's triple double or bust. All right. You're playing for your slot on the team now, Massenberg. Good charge. Lamont Murray versus Tracy Murray. Cousin v. Cousin. If he gets it, he'll change your vote. No, that, that would be a twist with the rest of these 100-point games. Anyone who gets a triple-double gets to stay. Yeah, you got to call timeout after that one in your home court. I don't know, the people who, if the uh, if the trade deadline was today, would be moved on. There's Massenburg here, of course. Uh, AC Earl, who's already had his 100-point game. Same with Lionel Simmons. Um, <clears throat> Jimmy King has not had his 100-point uh, outing yet. Carlos Rogers already has had his. And the other player, uh, Trevor Ruffin. Who have, yeah! Nice block, Tony. Um, so in real life, um, Massenberg and Ed Pinckney went together for a two-for-one. Uh, but as we all know, Ed Pinckney is a fan favorite. Spitz the greatest. He's asked that he stay, but... Uh, just sending Massenberg over didn't seem that realistic, but Trevor Ruffin actually was drafted by the Grizzlies, did not sign with them because he wanted player playing time, and signed with the Sixers. Um, and given that we're also trading for Muggsy Bogues, a fourth point guard, I think it would be reasonable for him to want to trade, timeline correct itself in that small um, way. Anyway, enough about that. Trevor Ruffin is now also on the trade block.
You also accept a double double with 100 points and 100 blocks. All right. Fair enough. I think uh, that ship has sailed. Not if Tracy Murray keeps stealing all those blocks. Oh, <laughs> I can see. A triple double is just different. I see what you did there now. Two categories and triple figures. Oh, it was way too far. Way too far to block that shot. You are clever. You should put that on your resume. <laughs> that is the resume. Assistant General Manager, 1996 Toronto Raptors. There you go, another block. Getting closer. What was that, Simmons? Oh, I just let him have that, didn't I? Home crowd trying to get a comeback, invoking the specter of Queen. Get the rebound, Tony! Come on! It's like he wants to be traded. Unbelievable. Woo. Oh, I can't stay mad at you, Tony. Pressure is getting to him. You can't stay mad at him. I've noticed. Yeah! I don't know, dude. I think this is going to happen. <laughs> You're at your desk at work. All of a sudden, you just snap your pencil and mutter. Nice hook. Look at that hook. Almost to a hundred in the third quarter. You have to admit, this is going much better than AC Earl's hundred point game. Both offensively and defensively. That's not actually 100 for him. Um, I think he's at 96, maybe 98. I'll check at the quarter break. In terms of plus minus, uh, Oh, yeah. In terms of plus minus, Massenburg actually one of the great success stories of the later season. Uh, had a rocky start, but last uh, few weeks he's just been a major contributor for us. Shoot it! Ah. Glitch. Alright, up by 40. That one three point shot was accidental. Full court. Now we have Steve Kerr. There you go. Ranked first in the NBA in 1995. Record still holds. Even in the future. All right. Take a quick look at the stats here.
Ah, there it was. 100 points. Tony Massenberg. I guess Murdoch's two were the only other two. Now, the bigger question. How are we doing on this triple-double situation? Five offensive rebounds, one defensive rebound. I didn't shoot at the end of the third because he didn't want to hurt his stats. All right, so he's got six rebounds, six blocks. That doesn't sound right. He's blocked more than two shots since the half, hasn't he? I'm crying foul on this uh, record keeping. So the goal this quarter, four rebounds for Massenburg, four block shots. That's the way it's going to be. Oh, right. I can't just stand into the basket. <laughs> if you streamed NFL 2K5, you wouldn't listen to the audience because you don't want to hurt your stats. It would be nothing but three to five yards per play. It would be super boring, but super efficient. But hey, you know, that's, uh, that's what being from the future is all about. Like scoring 150 points in one game with Dale Ellis. Get that board. Yeah. There we go, Tony. Get the board. Get it, Earl. Ugh. I don't think it's going to happen, but it's the greatest. We want it too much. What? Ugh. Get that rebound. Yes. You don't want it. You want him traded. You're actively rooting against it. Oh, it's nice to uh, nice to have a villain for a change. I like how instead of rooting against the Clippers here, just rooting against what a, one of our players' success in a 40-point victory. Maybe 25-point victory by the time we're done with these shenanigans. I definitely need to have someone else shoot those mid-range twos so you can get back into position to rebound. Nice to Murdoch. I'm enjoying how we have been trying to miss shots this quarter and we're still up by about the same amount we were up by before. Get that back. Simmons. There you go, Earl. Why am I so bad at rebounding, Spitz the Greatest? We're 43 and 1. I've been doing this for months. 
Maybe that's a problem. Maybe some of the times I thought Massenburg got a piece of it, he actually didn't. Oh, Rogers. Nice. Get that. Yes. <laughs> isn't the kind of thing you can get better at. Well, fair enough. Oh, home crowd does not like that one. All right. We're at the halfway point, fourth quarter. Let's see what we got. 100 points. Nine rebounds. Still only six blocks. It's a camera. Your eye will never be able to see it. True, not even with these goggles. One more rebound, four more blocks in four minutes. Can it be done? Four or five more steals, I guess. The blocks seem more likely. Maybe not. Oh, I think that counts. I think that was a steal. Get that rebound. Yes! Tony Massenburg, coast to coast. That one's for you, Spitz the Greatest. Patron at our buy a bucket tier. <laughs> Thank you. It was hotly contested. <laughs> that rebound. <laughs> Have a highlight of the night. Let's see that one again. Woo! That's the end. <laughs> That's how his career ends. He's got 108 points tonight. <laughs> 10 rebounds. 6 blocks, 6 steals. Needs four more blocks or four more steals. Maybe both. Quadruple double. Let's do it. happening oh no come on guys none of that need steals let's go Tony that bucket before I forget goes to the original Tony Massenburg booster Tim Troy humanitarian and philanthropist patron at our buy a bucket tier thank you for your support goaltending that's still a block shot right no
Block. These point guards are stealing all my blocks. It almost feels like the Clippers are helping me here. That they're just leaving the lane wide open. Maybe he called in some favors and played on the team. You know what, Murdoch? Go for it. Putting together the email for your resume and you almost included in the email, shoot the ball. <laughs> that is the danger of multitasking. Or the hidden benefits of multitasking. Maybe the hiring manager is Dr. Ambassador Dortmunder. Or Tim Troy, humanitarian and philanthropist. I've honestly lost count. I'm not sure if that was it or not. Tonight was an abject failure. What do you mean? On the resume front, you mean? Or, I hope you don't mean basketball. All right. Moment of truth. 45-point victory. Or 48-point victory, rather. Nobody cares about that. Did he do it? No! <laughs> One steal short. Oh. Wow. Brutal. Well, Tony. Hope you like Philadelphia. Drain the fountain while you're there. Ugh. And we won that game with no three-point shots. I almost don't even want to look at the rest of these stats. Ugh. Ugh. So close. Oh, Lionel Simmons comes in with nine assists. Nice work for him. Check out the Clippers end. And Brian Williams didn't miss a shot. Did Piekowski? So they only had four block shots for their whole team. That doesn't seem right either. Seems like there were more. Gotta put an asterisk next to this one. I think Tony got there. All right, since I'm curious, first quarter, 89%. Second quarter, 71%. Third quarter, 72%. Fourth quarter, 54%. There you go. It's beautiful. Simmons. Now, in Simmons' defense, those uh, funky-looking shots were ones I told him to shoot when I was trying to get the rebound. So, not all him. That is that. Thanks for bearing with me on our quest. Unfortunately, not successful. You can't win them all. It was fun. Thanks for tuning in, Spitz the Greatest. Hope you'll be back tomorrow. Um, I didn't, well, I guess double Trailblazers imagery for tomorrow's game. Uh, it says 9 p.m. I might be a little late. Um, I have plans earlier in the evening. Um, I will endeavor to be on time, but if I'm not on time, my apologies. We'll catch up when I get there. Have an excellent evening. Good luck with your resume, Spits the Greatest.